We're gonna go on this side. I think yeah. Clay's gonna come out. Clay, don't trip on my jacket. Yeah, we're gonna have someone come and do a demo. Where are you, Clay? There we Ooh. go. Ooh. All right. <laughs> that, don't don't trip. So yeah, we'll, and we'll, we got we'll, Clay on this side. We got we got Andrew on that side. And um, first, let's just set things up a little bit. Uh, the reason why we, we put things on two sides is we didn't want you to think that they were driven off the same computer. But the important thing to realize is that that uh, Andrew is on TV, and um, uh, Clay over here is on a Transformer Prime. Now, now, Dave, tell us what we're about to see. So, so basically, the, there's a new game. Um, we kind of want to associate with really great games. We, we, we're not looking for sort of simple little flash games or something. We want the best that the game industry can make. There's a new game that's coming out. It's going to be beta 12, 12, 12, so this December. Um, it's called Hawken. And so what we've done is we're, we're streaming Hawken from the cloud. And here it's going to come to the Transformer Prime. And you can just see the quality. Um, if you launch that. So let me see if I understand. You're, you want, instead of, instead of using last generation games or casual games, cloud, cloud gaming is about next generation games. It is. It's, it's about the best that the industry has yet to even reveal. Yeah, we're going to kind of challenge the designers. Mm -hmm. You know, These are new tools that we're putting into your toolbox. You're going to be able to place these video games everywhere. And it's not just hardware and devices, it's also um, a, big, a big focus of ours was websites. So we can also put these directly on the web. We signed a deal with Walmart, so the only way to place you know, full state-of-the-art games on walmart.com is through us, Best Buy, YouTube, and we continue. We just I go Facebook. to walmart.com. Yeah. I click and I'm playing the game. And you can play the game instantly right on the site. And so by adding more and more, uh, I guess my point is to some extent, I think we're going to beat Hollywood in reach because we now have games running in Facebook. And, yeah. and so there's no Netflix in Facebook, yeah. for example. Now, one of the benefits that, that you haven't mentioned that we haven't talked about yet is the benefits to the game developers, right? I mean, not only do, not only do they prevent from having to port from t platform to platform, DRM comes with it automatically. Yeah. Because exactly. there's no, 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 no uh, possibility of their application being somehow uh, stolen because it never left the server. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's all they're getting actually from us is the experience. They get no code at any time. Right. And so that's something we've been working on a lot is, is trying to get people to start thinking about using cloud gaming to do trials and, and to, to, to get, your, get your audience more involved much earlier on mm -hmm. in the process. Because if you can get them involved, you know, without them having to sit there and download for 40 minutes or something like that, that would be really great. That's fantastic. They, you, the, the software developers don't want the bits to go out, nor neither do, does an end user want the bits. No. They just want the experience. All right, show us the experience. So this is running, uh, this is actually an, uh, this uh, Asus um, Prime tablet running Hawken, which is this new game. Again, it's made by a team called Adhesive Games. And um, it's, it's one of these games that you just know gamers are going to get very excited about, but they didn't dream they were going to be able to just pull out their tablet and drop into a multiplayer world like this. And so this is also um, over. So this is playing. This is this. Your Clay is playing on a transformer. Yes. Yep. Transformer Prime projected up into what is an Ultra HD projector, and on the other side, Clay is back there. He's standing. Clay. Clay is that curly head guy on the other side, and uh, he's standing in front of a television playing against Clay. Yeah, so what we're expecting to happen here is imagine you discovered this game. It came out at 9 a.m. this morning. It's still 9 a.m. You've already started to play because it's within one minute you're playing. Right. And then you tweet to your friends, oh my god, it's amazing, join me. They can then click a button. They've not heard of the product. They don't know where to go get it but they're instantly in it in their browser, and, and then they're immediately able to, to teleport in and join their friends in the, yeah, in the this universe. Yeah, fantastic. So imagine beaming all your friends into your game the, the minute it comes out, and yeah, that's, that's the kind of thing fantastic. that this enables. What is more fun than a mech first-person shooter? Absolutely. Right? <laughs> what is more fun this than game, a mech? Oh, this is going to be it, awesome. Isn't it gorgeous, the, 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 the quality? This is the kind of stuff that we are so excited, because as you put more and more compute in the cloud, mm -hmm. It's going to, we're going to keep going back to the developers going, no, 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 crank it even higher. We can put, right. put the game on let's, maximum Let's walk settings. over here. I mean, one of the things that, that, that you just said that I don't know if the audience picked up is that, in fact, because it's in the cloud and because we're always building out the cloud, mm -hmm. you always have the state-of-the-art technology in the cloud, and it's possible then 
to never be static. I mean, you're, the, the, the technology is literally getting better every single day. Absolutely. Right? Instead of, instead of a game console um, or a, a hardware platform that on the day that you buy it starts to get lesser and less good, yeah. in this particular case, the cloud gets better and better every day. That's yes. one of the powers of cloud computing. No, exactly. So when a game launches, yeah. we can send it to the very, very latest hardware. And this is kind of fun to see because we announced um, a deal with LG at CES this year where we're going to power their cloud gaming platform. And um, it means that now the television companies can participate in the game industry. Before, they were just passive. I kind of always joke, how much money did Microsoft make when people played Xboxes on your TVs? And the answer is billions of dollars. So how much did you make? And the answer has always been zero. But now they're able to have their own cloud gaming platforms on their wow. TVs. Now this particular, just so that you guys see, you guys know what this game console looks like. Here, come back here, Mr. Camera. Yeah, that green cable. This is your <laughs> game console. Yeah, there's nothing else needed other than a is green cable. Is this awesome? And, and it's, it's green. Uh, of course, you got a little, a little NVIDIA. All like. right, all right. <laughs> David, thank no, you very much. Thank you very you much. You guys are going to be incredibly successful. We're having a lot of fun. Congratulations. Thank you, you very thank much. Thank you. Um, I want to. I want to thank. I want to thank all of our partners um, that are going to support us in go. the cloud GPU ecosystem. This is. Um, it's over. <laughs> thank you, Clay. You can pick it up later, man. <clears throat> All right, so, so I want to thank all of, all of our partners uh, who are part of the cloud GPU ecosystem. On the enterprise side, Citrix, Citrix Microsoft, VMware, and Zen. And on the cloud gaming service side, Gaikai, G Cluster, Playcast, Otoy, and Ubitus. Um, there, many, of them, many of them have booths uh, here at, um, uh, at, the, at the GTC show. Please do stop by and see them. They're doing incredibly great work. This is really, really fabulous. I want to also thank all of the system companies that have built dedicated servers, dedicated servers for VGX, so that we can take the VGX platform as broadly as possible, and enable GPU accelerated VDI everywhere around the world. I want to thank Dell and Cisco and HP, IBM, and Supermicro for being part of our ecosystem. Well, that's it. Kepler is, <laughs> thank you. Kepler is a very, very big deal for our company. Not only is it a revolutionary processor, the best that we have ever built, uh, it will take computer graphics to the next level, as you've seen. It will take GPU accelerated computing to the next level. And then for the very first time, it would put GPU into the cloud. It is surely the case that computer graphics and GPUs are becoming more and more important. And our endeavor is to bring this capability to as many experiences as possible. With computer graphics, we were able to reach hundreds of millions of users. With computing, we're able to affect and be your partner as you discover more and more important science. And with cloud computing, we can literally put the power of the GPU in the hands of billions of mobile users around the world. I want to thank all of you for coming today. Have a great GTC.